Bonjour, uh, Gérard Guinamont, uh, Chief Data Officer uh, Group within uh, NG Company. So we consider five steps regarding the data flowing from data to value. The first step, of course, is the data sources, then the data storage, then data analysis, insight, and value. Of course, there are many people working on this uh, chain, and uh, in order to gather all these people, we have built um, a common data uh, hub, which is um, cloud-based uh, solution, big data solution, built on AWS, which is implemented locally in a bottom-up uh, approach. Uh, it means that uh, each BU has to provision the common data hub at its local level, and then load the data. And once the data is loaded, in order to share data across the group, Two features are available. The first one is the data catalog. All the data is visible from anyone in the group. And the second feature is the data sharing, either uh, direct access, such as Dropbox, for instance, or thanks to uh, an API portal. So data culture is a key topic when we want, when you want to, uh, to build a data-driven company. Uh, I start with the CEOs, the CEOs of the BUs. Uh, for instance, I took them to the US in order to meet uh, old companies, not GAFAM, but old companies such as Coca-Cola, Goldman Sachs, in order to understand better how they uh, shift to data and uh, why they shift uh, to, to, to data. When the CEO came back, they were fully convinced about the why, but they still had a lot of questions about the how to. So it's the reason why I've launched also a new uh, actions in order to more structural, in order to support them in their data strategy, how to link the data strategy to the business strategy, and uh, of course, how to create um, and to measure the value by putting in place use cases. Uh, you know that uh, uh, working on value is the best way to onboard people. And as I used to say, um, in God we trust and for the rest we measure. <laughs> So we are just at the beginning of uh, artificial intelligence, to be honest. But of course, we have a lot of expectations. Uh, if we want to uh, create new sources of performance, uh, new sources of revenues, new products, new services, we must develop use cases based on artificial intelligence. I can give you some examples which are uh, already done. The first one is uh, in order to predict the customer churn in our B2B uh, activities, uh, we have developed some algorithms. Uh, we uh, also develop uh, an algorithm in order to uh, avoid the, what we call the second intervention for the home boilers maintenance activities. And last uh, but not least, we uh, also develop an algorithm in order to decide when to buy, when to uh, store the electricity generated by uh, uh, solar plants by using data coming from the plants itself, and, but also from the market price data and uh, weather forecast data, for instance. When I uh, launched the Data at NG program uh, one year ago, uh, one of my objectives was to uh, partner with uh, universities and schools in order to attract new talents uh, for our challenges. And uh, I selected uh, business schools and engineers schools. So in that context, it was quite normal to be there today 
in order to explain what we what we do within NG, within a uh, big group in terms of data, and what are the questions of the, the students regarding this evolution.